Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Miscreated. We are on the mend, luckily, luckily, but we are still poisoned, and we are now shirtless. Yeah, not the best. So, we need to start taking care of ourselves. I'm just going to start with going through the rest of these houses. Actually, did we fully explore this house? I think I just got too excited when I figured out that uh, we could actually... <laughs> We can actually heal ourselves. No, okay, there definitely isn't anything here at all. I'm just gonna go through and just see if we can change things up a little bit. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with that being on three. I just need to try and remember that it is. And that looks like a hell of a base. Now, this isn't a player base. This is, uh, well, an NPC structure of sorts, but, well, no NPCs. I have weapon, stay away. I don't think they do have a weapon anymore. I'm also imagining a lot of this place has already been cleaned out in a story sense. What do we have there? That is nothing. Anything that we can actually take is going to be able to be highlighted. Oh shit. Hey buddy. How's it going? I got my hands up, man. I'm friendly. I don't have anything. I've just got a torch in my hand. You can see it. H hello. I'm not gonna. Oh, hey, I won't shoot hey. You. I'm just. Oh, cool. I was with a bunch of people <laughs> and I just kind of came back into the air. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I just saw you walk my... around the corner with that pistol. Please, I'm not sure you. Shake me away. Well, that was uh, intense, to say the least. But, uh, see, I think if that was DayZ, I think it'd be dead right about now. Now, we did have a hatchet, but we're shirtless and we're injured. So, I'm not going to go head to head with a guy who has a pistol in his hand and a rifle on his back. So, yeah, we got lucky. Yeah, the good thing is that you can actually hear footsteps from quite a distance away. And would you look at that, we found some rags. Brilliant. And we found some more rags. <laughs> um, do the rags stack, is the question. No, it looks like they, they do. Okay, but you need to stack them once they are actually in your inventory. And this is a three-story place, which is awesome. And that is a rotten apple, so we aren't gonna wanna do anything with that. Now if this person here did have a weapon, I'd like it. Got some more cool sunglasses. We do have our sunglasses on underneath. Uh, but I don't think we're going to use those ones. Actually, no, those are wafers. We'll take them, definitely. And I'm guessing that's the man who wrote on the outside. So let's uh, go ahead and swap those out. They are aviators, but uh, I kind of prefer the wafers. Yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to exploring this game, especially on a proper RP server as well. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of, a lot of potential for being a really, really good role-playing game. It just, uh, with it being an alpha, there's just still a few minor things that need to be ironed out, which I think will be ironed out over time. M more things will be added in. But in terms of the size and the scope, right now, the place feels big. It feels really decently big. It takes a long time to get places, which is good, but it doesn't take a ridiculous amount of time. So it's a good kind of balance between the two. A lot of houses that are relatively well boarded up, so hopefully, hopefully there is something for us here. With that guy being so well geared, I don't think he's going to take a lot of the things that we're going to want starting off. Green camo pants. Now, do we want green over our desert ones? I think we might. It's going to be better. Um, and I think they disappeared. Yep. Yep, they uh, they disappeared then. More dead bodies. And we've found some stanner grounds. Awesome. But uh, no guns to shoot them with. Um, and that's actually the magazine that we need for it as well. Because sometimes you can find the gun, but you won't have the magazine to shoot it with. No food. And we're hungry. We're very hungry and very thirsty, and we're still on the mend, so 
The more of those that we can get, the better. Nope, nothing in the south for us. Well, apart from ammunition, which is good. I uh, won't scoff at that. We might actually have something around the back here as well. I like to think that people hide things. We said before, stay in a group or die alone. And it looks like they had a little bit of a shooting range back here, but nothing. Okay. Next house then. This is a relatively populated server as well. I think it's actually towards maximum population, which actually isn't huge at the moment. It's only 35, but it's big enough that you are going to run into people. And it looks like we've got a melee guide. So let's go ahead and try and read that. I don't know how that's going to affect us at all. Let's just chuck down the rubbing alcohol for now and grab that. Ah, I see. Melee. Okay, right. Ah, good. Okay. The crafting system in this is, is relatively robust. There seems to be a decent amount to it, but you can get by without crafting at all. Yes, yes. Okay, let's, uh, let's grab that. Give it a drink. Much better. Okay, and we've actually found a t-shirt, so yes, good news for us. Um, okay, and it actually had a bandage in it already. A bandage and an energy drink, so uh, go ahead and drink it. That's something that's worth checking as well. If you do find backpacks or t-shirts or anything on the ground, there's a chance that there could be things in them, so check them out. Where did I drop? There it is, the rubbing alcohol. We can actually do our first little bit of crafting, so we come into here and we go to medical we can make an antiseptic bandage boom that's going to help us out now i wonder whether it's going to be worth us using that now because we're not bleeding but maybe it will actually help us this is this is us learning um it didn't seem to do a hell of a lot <laughs> i'm gonna hope it does otherwise we may have just wasted our, our bandage <laughs> we are still poisoned that's worth mentioning. The poison seems to last for a decent while. Checking out garages as well as we're going along. That's completely empty. Decently sized place. And we're going to want to get nice and low. Look behind everything. Just make sure there's nothing hiding. Because I have found, I've found loot in some very difficult places from time to time. So, it's worth checking. And hello, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'll need to try and figure out what that interaction menu is. Let's see. And, yeah, let's have something to drink as well. 100%, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that means that if we do find anything now, we'll just be collecting it for later. Check out that bathroom. See, there we go, just hiding in the corner. Somewhere that you might not usually look. Most of the time we're kind of conditioned to look for loot. Just smack bang in the center of the room. Um, I have to I really do like the houses in this as well. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. We got ourselves a backpack. We're looking super fly now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're definitely looking interesting. Yeah. <laughs> And we've got some duct tape, which is probably going to be useful in crafting. And that looks like it might be nails. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether or not we can actually... Oh. Hey. Hello. How's it going? What's going on, man? Do you just um, spawn in? How are you? Cool. Well, best of luck to you. Um, I've seen one guy that's been pretty heavily armed around the town, but he was pretty friendly. Oh, I hope he watches where he swings there. Good luck, I'll see you around. Alright, we've got another house to look at. Let's start delving. Nothing yet. More dead. Alright, let's check the upstairs. Nothing so far. I'm also thinking, because these places are relatively out the way, we're not going to be as likely to find guns in here. I think, I think a lot of that's going to be mostly be in there. The more built up areas, the cities. This is a relatively large town. 
What have we got there? More rags. <laughs> rags, rags, rags. Okay. And we've actually got a bandage as well, so we will take that. And um, I didn't actually notice, but we have actually been healing a decent amount. We're on 93% now, so maybe the antiseptic bandage did actually make a difference. We've got some black track pants, so let's just have a look. No, there are only two slots. We do need food. We're doing okay when it comes to our thirst for now, but we will need food. And we can hunt. It's definitely, definitely an option. Let's get out of this house. All right, energy drink. Nice. We can store that for later. Nothing up here either. Oh, I spoke too soon. A small megalite. Brilliant. So, we're going to take that, and that's going to replace this shitty little torch here. So you can see all the flashing and the rest. Well, that's all going to disappear. Have a look at this thing. Boom. The, uh, the color temperature is even dis you know, different with it. Um, I like the diffusion that you kind of get from the glass in this. Okay, well, I'm happy with that find at least. All right. Back downstairs, on to the next house. Okay, ooh, we've got something. A hockey mask. Okay, we'll take it and we'll see exactly what it's going to do. It goes over the face, so I think it's that slot there. Let's take that off for a second. Okay, interesting with the sunglasses on. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's quite a different look. We're going to tear that to rags. Looks like we can stack that up there as well. And we will chuck the helmet back on as well. Don't know if that actually acts as a additional... Oh, that is much cooler. Much, much cooler. Okay, we're definitely going with that. <laughs> I don't know if the face mask acts as a separate kind of layer of protection for us. I guess we'll find out if we get shot in the face. Although, imagine, probably won't do too much if that's the case. And we actually have a bandana there as well. Well, this house has had a few things for us so far peas as well even gosh we're lucky we're on a roll this is good I'm liking this house soup oh god tuna holy crap there's everything here okay we're gonna have to bite to eat while we can let's see tuna it is okay there wasn't too much to it uh so we will have something else let's have some let's have some peas some canned peas and you know what we're gonna have the uh what have we got here soup we're gonna have the soup as well brilliant so that's actually hydrated us as well so looking pretty good in that regard and oh fire out this house is just off the freaking chain we're gonna save those we don't need to drink them brilliant best house in the neighborhood so far 10 out of 10 would loot again okay that's that house down heading across the road I'm gonna check that place out I'm just gonna be systematic about how we do this just move through bit by bit we still got a lot of the day left I'm gonna make the most of it footsteps hey man how's it going hey how's it going good 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 just a bit fucked up yeah you're missing your pants yeah i spawned naked and bleeding that's not good how are you doing now now i'm just, I'm just normal but just have nothing no no torch even damn well i left a torch i think it was in that house across the road so let me see if i can actually uh, point I, that's not the <laughs> i just flipped you off by accident hang on which is the point one two or three houses down let's see there that one there so uh yeah that one so i think it's i think it's the second floor in uh in a little kid's room yeah i think i get the one thanks bro yeah all good there should be some pants in there as well Top floor. Well, there we go. A little bit of civil behavior in an uncivil world. Ooh, hoo, hoo, energy drink. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. All right. That's all of this road done. So we're going to keep on moving. And we're just going to bear in mind that there is another player here. In that house just where we've sent him to. Looks like the wolves have moved on, which is kind of good. See? Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Um, daytime is a lot safer than nighttime for dealing with the dead. As you'd notice, it's the second episode and we haven't seen any yet. They do seem to be in kind of specific areas, but they also do seem a lot more prevalent. 
at night time. So during the day, this is this is our time to rule. So we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna dive into another house. Looks like we're gonna have to duck down into this one though. Which is a nice touch. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We do have a car battery, which I'm tempted to take now that we've actually got... Well, I'm saying that we actually don't have a hell of a lot of space. And, uh... I'm kind of doubting that we are going to run into a vehicle. Now that I've said that, we are 100% going to run into a vehicle. <laughs> wow. Beef stew. Yes. Yes, please. Okay, we're not going to actually use that just yet. We've got some more rags. <gasps> Underneath the bed, though. Yeah, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. We'll stack them with the others. Um, actually stack all those together. Um, looks like five is the max that we can stack, so we're gonna leave it at that. Okay, it looks like we've got something of a shop over here. I do want to check out these other houses though, but I'm nervous with the other people being around that they might get there first, so I think... I think we're just gonna go straight for it. Hope for the best. Oh, okay, we've got fire on over there. I like it. Okay, it's looking pretty quiet. Let's get moving. And another fire as well. That's creeping me out. It's really creeping me out. And I love this as well, like someone's been living in here. Looks like something very bad happened to them as well. The torch is dangerous as well because it's, well, it's going to attract people. But uh, this is a full-on supermarket, so I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get lucky here. Um, we're pretty much just going to use things as we find them here. Um, that's the way we're going to try and play it. And get back in my inventory, you sucker. Okay, so it's going to get us to 100%. We're going to have that stew now as well. And I think I actually kept the water bottle, which is kind of cool. So we will keep that water bottle because we can fill it up at uh, other water sources. Nothing on these walls here. No. I'm going to try and use the torch as much as possible though, because not only is it good for me in-game, it's also good for you on YouTube. It makes it a lot easier to see. Um, let's do some quick crafting. Just to keep our inventory down, we can craft those two together. Make an make a antiseptic bandage. It seems pretty sparse here. A mini vodka bottle, which I think we can fill up. I don't think I don't know if there's actually anything in there at the moment. There was, but we drank it, so we just sculled down our vodka. Yep. Yeah, so it was just a little mini thing of vodka. Nice. I am getting quite nervous being in here now because it's a much more built up place and the chances of us running into someone alive or dead well that's a lot higher there we go we learned how to make a bridge you build bridges bring people together that's this place done let's go check out that bus oh it's our friend again the purple man he's got a hat now and he's got some pants I actually don't know if I have a way onto this bus. Uh, where'd it go? Okay. It's sealed up. Making me nervous, making me nervous. I'm glad we came here before we went to the other houses. Because uh, there's a lot more for us to see. What am I doing? We don't want to be staying out in the open like this. Decent amount of rats around. I suppose there's enough dead to keep them fed. Okay, Diesel. Thought I could hear someone slowly crouching. Or rather, slowly crouch walking. It's just my imagination playing tricks on me. <laughs> just the fear getting the better of me. The good thing about the dead in this is that they're noisy. So... <laughs> You're not super likely to get jump scared by them. Uh, they do make a lot of noise. I kind of almost think it would be good if they, they didn't. If they were quiet so that you could kind of stumble upon one in a building. And have no idea until you get really close. But uh, they do seem to huff and puff quite a bit. The place is overrun. Go north. 
I think that's pretty good advice. Maybe we need to take that. And things don't look too good outside. But we're doing better than we were doing last episode. We've got our helmet. We've got our hatchet. We've even got a backpack. Things are starting to look up for our, our little man here. Who's also wearing a mask underneath his helmet. Because, you know, that's just what you do. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.